Hey folks, Quilly Keen here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld Shin's Legacy. Uh, it has been a few days since the last time I recorded, so I'm not entirely sure where we are about things other than the fact that I think it is time for us to start decking out our fancy little come up iron shade or beginning their marriage ceremony. Oh right! I think we left things off with everyone assembling for it. But I was like, someone else is getting married? But no, no, this is the, the same thing over here. Um, did it say colonists need treatment for a second? What's going on? Oh, Yang's got like, yeah, the plague and the mechanites. Poor guy. Hopefully he'll get treated again fairly really shortly. What is it? Dry thunderstorm? Okay, that's fine. Maybe a little fire, but that's okay. We still have like unlimited plasteel and steel going on. Which is very nice. I like how Kitten is going around with a little crown. I'm sorry, Cornet. Oh, look at the little plague icon over there. Is that in base game, or is that... I wonder if it's part of the, the colored mood mod or something like that. That's adding those details. That's quite funky. Working on recon helmets. That's good. It's been keeping us alive a fair bit. And, yeah, so I think what we're going to do here is... We, we have a little more marble, right? That's limestone. That is marble, though. I'm going to go ahead and put in that structure wall marble. I'm just going to do this. So I've got the replace mod, which just removes some of the micromanagement from doing this. And then, what did this end up being? That was sandstone tiles. Well, we're going to have to rip out the sandstone. We will go on limestone. I think we needed a little over 1,300 blocks to finish it, so I'm going to make sure we've got enough to, um, to actually completely finish that room before I get started, just to make sure there's no weird... Like, I don't know, issue with the bottleneck or something, and it turns out we just have to buy a bunch of stone to get a matching set. I mean, the, the, the pawns don't care if it's a matching set or not, but I clearly do. Um, one of the things, though, I want to double check before we did this 100% that um, this is going to be sufficient for the bedroom. Right, 30 tiles. And this should, well, this is clearly going to be more than 30 tiles. Okay. So yeah, all we have to worry about is getting the right furniture in there. That was it. I just wanted to double check the space to make sure it's fine, but I mean, it is pretty cute. Suta's got an inspiration. Oh, fast movement. That's, I like that one, because no matter what they do, the fast movement is going to be fantastic and useful. So that's great to see. Still have crafting turned on for everyone, which means we get our block cutting going properly. Nice. All that flooring got done. I would still love to, like, floor the crap out of more things. But right now, we're just going to focus on finishing this bedroom over here. We actually might have enough blocks. There might simply be some not in storage over here. That's only 40 more. Um, but it, does, uh, it doesn't count as part of this total if it's not in a stockpile. All right, night shift. I mean, some people are on at night. Actually, let me check the schedule. Yeah, I mean, we might be able to do a better job of balancing that. I just wanted to make sure we didn't have anyone who had the extended sleep schedule. Forcing them to sleep for eight hours is pretty dumb. Force them to go to bed, and then they'll sleep until they, they wake up, and then that's okay. I mean, the only problem is if I interrupt the sleep early, and they might not go right back to sleep. I mean, they will sleep on their own if they get too tired, so... It seems to be a pretty good way to handle it. Suit of doing some mining in here. So, I mean, again, it doesn't really... It doesn't seem to bother anyone too much. I assume there's a lot of negative beauty from these steel chunks. I mean, there certainly is negative beauty. Yeah, so there's negative beauty there, and I think this is negative beauty as well. But... Minus 25? Oh, shit. Okay, that's a lot of negative beauty from this trail. Uh, still, we'll, we'll get it done. It's going to be okay. I mean, this room's actually still fairly decent. It's extremely impressive still, despite the negative beauty, because we have so many boosts. Uh, quest expired. Stash of supplies. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Chem fuel got produced. Hooray! We're not really consuming the chem fuel. I mean, I think for a few explosives, but that's it. Food is going... We still haven't moved the blocks in, but I get more blocks is happening. Okay, I think we are fine. If I go to floors, fine limestone, right? Limestone. Fine limestone tiles. Yeah, 1320. I guess I should do under the door just so it matches. Yeah, all right. The doorway isn't considered part of the room, I don't think. You still want it floored to, because otherwise you get a dirt patch and it generates dirt. It's already floored. Even with fine stuff, and it doesn't actually have to be fine stuff in there, but what the hell, right? Uh, Fitzy is actually idle. I, we, I think we noticed that last time, too. Yeah, Fitzy doesn't actually have that many things to do if there's no cleaning going on. So as a Kamabat, I can bring the Kamabat's cleaning down to a three. So Fitzy will spend more time cleaning because there's going to be, uh, there's not going to be as much competition for it. Should maybe get some lights in here, like ASAP, for the work. Okay, hold on. Let's let's figure out the rest of the furniture. 
So I need... Oh, that's the throne room. Fine floored. Gotcha. Royal bed. End table dresser. Drape. Well, that's it. I think it's the same as uh, as over here, actually. I like making the royal the beds out of wood. It still feels right. Do I want to put it, like, at the end? I think I will do that. It's gold. We could put a quality in there, but it's going to be okay. End table has to be adjacent to the bed, so we'll do that. Dresser can be anywhere, but I think I'll put it down over there. We've got random cargo pods. Really? What is this? Bison wool. All right, let's haul that inside, please. And that's it. Now, um, we may need some help to get the impressiveness up, so we can put in some sculpture. I mean, it's such a big room. We did, we did overkill this, right? Because 30 tiles is just 5 by 6 internal space. There's a ludicrous amount of space. On the other hand, and it, which meant we need tons more fancy flooring. I could really cut this in half and have two fancy-ass rooms. But I wanted to do it, like, really big, really fancy. This used so much more material than we had to. I don't care. I wanted, I wanted it really, really big and fancy. The size matters, damn it. You know what I'm looking forward to the next time we play RimWorld is... Uh, I'm going to go back to, like, weirdly shaped rooms, like, less squares. Or, actually, I, what I think I might do is settle somewhere that's like a mountain. Maybe turn off insect infestations in the game setup, uh, and then do a deep mountain one. We've done that one time as sort of a dwarf run. We might do that again. Just because if the insect infestations are on, and you're digging into the mountain like right at the start of the game, an early infestation could just wipe you out. And it could be a little too rough. But don't want that. The fine floors take forever to do too. I really shouldn't have made the room that big, but I wanted to! He may have eaten some corn before picking it up. Actually, I don't know if the dogs eat. Yeah, they must eat vegetables. They're omnivores. Sure. Bison wool getting pulled inside. That's going to be fine. And yeah, at least this like being, is being mined like as a high priority because it is going to be the closest most of the time. So if someone's got a mining job, they'll almost always go for this, which means we will uh, be able to get rid of this ugly thing fairly quickly and then move it somewhere outside. What I might do is throw it here to help this patch. I mean, it doesn't matter, actually. What I might do is just throw it on an empty patch over here and start getting some stone mining, which might have tremendous value for us. I don't know. Playing some chess over there. Everyone's in a pretty good mood, actually. Yang's maybe the lowest. What's your deal, Yang? <clears throat> well, just now, high psychic drone. That I don't think that was the case when I was clicking on it, but... <clears throat> high. Like, that's going to be brutal, because some of these who are more psychic sensitive... Minus 15, minus 30. Yeah, a few minus 30s. We might, might not have anyone who's hypersensitive, uh, which is good. Because I think um, I think Yang is in, psychically insensitive. Yeah, psychically dull, which is why it's only 15. I think 30 is normal. I think anyone above 30 is because they have a special hypersensitivity, which we don't seem to have, at least on the male side. I think the kitten have the extra sensitivity because they are psychic. I'm not sure. Huh? Mech hive. Mechanoids attacking from two directions. It's not a... They're not sieging. They're not setting up a big... That is a lot of scythers. And over here. Okay. Lots of scythers. No centipedes. I'm a little worried that we are going to get some melee hits. But let's get in position. Mostly we've got to make sure we're not outside as quickly as possible. And these guys do move fairly quickly. So we're not going to be sitting idle too, too long. We'll do a little manual target. Why are you smashing the door, dude? You can just walk through. It's just rude. And yeah, we may want to manually target the whoever's closest or threatened to move towards us in melee. Like this one here, for example. Um, do you... Are you two not armed? Oh my. They must have, uh, they must have gotten knocked down a couple of times. Please, everyone to kill this. And actually, Kitten, let's drop a stun. i got to remember to do this more often. On the one who's reaching us in melee, please. And another stun over here. Thank you. Oh, stun is loud. How badly are you hurt? 18 hours. I mean, it's not bad. Let's actually get you equipped anyway. And... Chantel. No, you are armed. Many. Oh, um, we need to drop a stun on this one. And then a stun over here. Okay. I'm wondering if we should pull back. 
I might pull back with some over here because they're these are the ones who are being meleeed. So just pull back a little. And they're less likely to get shot by our turrets, you know. Do that, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the kit back. They obviously have to die. Holy shit! I think Solek got that shot by the turret here. Can I manually target these things? No. I might have to set up like a wall here to prevent the turrets from start. I mean, I want them to still shoot here. Oh well, death happens. Yeah, that's starting to be a lot of dudes. I'm going to pull back some more here. At least this way we can't be shot by the turrets. So we can push turrets a few more chances to take some shots. All of our regular guns have been taken out. And the big ones might as well. Oh, please, no one, no one shoot Ava, please. Okay, good. Now, let's come over here. Before they take out more of these. Why is this one moving so slowly? Oh, we still have one of these turrets. Oh, that one's down. He got caught in the explosion and died. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna drop you and have you rescue Chantal now, please. And I guess we'll get everyone over here. Now we haven't lost someone in a while. But yeah, let's just double check here. Log? Liver and torso shattered in pieces by uranium slug turrets, uranium slug. I mean, he'd already been injured, admittedly, but. Okay. Unrecruit everyone. No one is recruited. Solik is dead. Boo. Um, we'll allow everything. And looks like someone has grabbed the body already. Good. How are we doing on Burl? Oh, we've got room for more. Yeah, we really haven't had anyone die in a long time. Ah, oh, but the puppy. I don't feel like... Oh, do I have to select one to do? Yeah, there we go. Um, storage. Um, I guess they're not bon I don't know. We'll be a little bit cold. We're not gonna. We're not gonna entomb the puppy. Now, if it was Shin, that would be different. But if I mean, if it's Shin, maybe we just lose the game. I don't know. We have some extreme break risk. Yeah, this like mood snap at the same time is being really annoying. Um, Kit, what are you up to? Because you're one of our cheap. Okay, you are tending. Good. Oh, Gleb's falling down. Really? <gasps> oh shit. Um. Oh, Shade is actually another one of our good of our doctors, and I think you're the one doing the hauling right now. Oh no, you're doing that. Hang on. Treat or er, not strip. Tend to Gleb right away because we have very little time here. Okay, five hours. Good, 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 good. I think you already had the lung destroyed. I don't think that's new. Well, everything. Um, I don't see the little bleed icon anywhere, so... Oh, no, Fitzy. is still currently bleeding. Tending to Fitzy, good. I don't think you were bleeding very badly. But there, okay. Everyone's been patched up. Quest expires in 23 hours. Worker lending. Right, lending some workers. I don't think we're going to do that one, so I'm going to go ahead and trash it immediately. We still got the high psychic drone. That is actually going to be rough timing. So, oh, Solak hasn't actually been buried yet. Put a hull urgently. Let's get him put away here. Whenever you get a chance. Alright, a little bit more tending over here. Oh, he's giving birth. That's our pig. There we go. Hollowness has been buried. Starvation is Gleb. Someone's presumably she just fed you. Royal Tribute Collector. Um. I wonder if we get mood. Because we, we've got a bunch of gold. We probably could go ahead. And offer up some gold. Yeah. On some steel way over here. Okay, so that's probably not something we're going to mine. I mean, we've got so much steel, we don't really need to worry about it. I don't think there's anything I'm prioritizing on the hull right now. Repairing that is actually a good idea. that has got tattered apparel. Probably took a bunch of bullet damage. So, they'll change once they're up. Okay, their mood's not going to be an issue while they're in bed. Actually, right now, yeah, with the psychic drone, I mean, that's good. As I say, with so many people hurt, 
the psychic dr and, and the in bed sleeping, we actually might sleep through some of the psychic drone. Okay, Chantal's gotten sick from infection. I don't think I'm concerned. I don't think I'm going to amputate anything, although I'm trying really hard to remember that it's an option. You're already in a great medical bed with a finals monitor, with a good doctor. We've got medicine. You're being tended. I find it very hard to believe you were going to lose to the infection. Uh, you have no kidney damage or anything to like hurt your blood filtration or anything like that, so you should be fine. Suit has been fully healed. So you lost one person. No, it wasn't someone who... You weren't married to someone, were you? I don't know if I can, like, check your relationship still. I would assume that it, it we, someone would be, like, major, major break risk if their lover or something had died. So I don't think that's the case anymore. You are swapping out your damaged armor. It is, unfortunately, the recon armor, but... I mean, I guess if it got damaged, hopefully that means it did its job. We're waiting for some rebuilds. Not that this door is terribly important. Um, that door is intact, which is important. Inspired taming. Okay, fine. I don't think we're looking for some taming stuff. Every now and again, we do have to do a little taming of our animals to stop the wildness from kicking up. We may want to do... We've still got tons of hay. I guess there's no rush to butchering the pigs. It's not like we have a problem with our fine meal situation. Um, we could always sell some of these as well if it comes up to that so there's no reason to start you know emergency butchering them because we have no shortage of hay we got tons of kibble again did we get another insect attack i mean we don't have unlimited kibble but we still have tons of it as well and we're good on hay so yeah i'm not going to freak out about the number of pigs although they are getting pretty high up there um butchering all those uh mechanoids is going to be very nice thank you very much for hauling that in there kitten i'm happy that you still do hauling despite your rank probably do the glitter world whenever it comes off cooldown because there's no reason to sit on that no insect invasion since we put down the mines i think they do target like well i don't know it's, i don't know if insect invasions target undefended places sappers um and the drops do they, they, they try not to go places where you actually have defenses but i'm not sure about the insect infestations let's um these components over here let's just make sure they get hauled so that they don't decay all right, more people getting fully healed. That's great. I'll have to do a pass through to see if anyone's missing any critical body parts. You got damage to a couple of things up here. You got a mangled scar in your brain. Poor kitten. Yeah, we may have to do a little more bionics. Uh, thumb, your infection. How you doing? 33%. 54% immunity, so that's golden. The lung, toe, finger, toe. Bionic heart from before. Okay. So yeah, we have we have a few digits that are missing and a few scars that would be great if they didn't exist anymore and were bionic instead. But overall, our people are still in an acceptable degree of shape. I was going to say, it, it lagged for a second. I don't know if that was right. Quite yaks. Keep two yaks around. They're sickly. They've got to be treated. Disease can be slowed. It's not going to come with raids. Oh, I'm going to accept for goodwill because we actually on the cusp of like losing to, to having them turn hostile. And that could be really bad. We're just going to accept for goodwill. And yeah, we'll keep a couple of yaks around. That sounds great. The yak, don't talk back. Do they have names? Bimbo <laughs> and Nikolai. Nikolai. Excellent. So Bimbo and Nikolai. I'm going to have both of you uh, encouraged to stay in the barn. Where it is nice and safe. And you've got lots of food. Given that we are going to increase our food load here in a second, we are going to become maybe that much more incentivized to cull the pigs. But... I think there's no rush yet, so we'll have to use a little bit of medicine for them. Yeah, if we get a chance to sell the pigs, we will do it. The thing is, we haven't even gone hunting for a while. I mean, we don't have any meat sitting around, but we've got 700 fine meals here. We're at the point where we're probably like, yeah, we're, we're doing this thing over here, because we're trying to keep 300 simple meals around, and then we're doing infinitude uh, fine meals. Now, the simple meals over here... I don't allow any meat, which is fine because we've got much more med uh, vegetable product. Um, I could put in a thing where, like, if we're less than 100, uh, uh, like, simple meals, we could enable them to start using meat. But we could always just, you know, deal with that when it comes up. Hay rotted away. and should be fine, theoretically. All right. All of our guns are back up. Some of the walls are being replaced. The door has been fixed, which is good. 
This thing is still actually very damaged. Is it not correctly home zoned? Or did someone just not get around to it? Okay, so it'll get repaired at some point, so that's going to be fine. And we're waiting for the royal bed to be finished. Oh, um, I want to get some lights in here, which actually will help with some of the construction as well. Um, let's put one at the end of the bed, and I'm going to put one over here for, actually, for symmetry. We'll do rotational symmetry by putting it over here. I think that's correct. Yeah, there we go. As opposed to mirror symmetry. Six of one, half a dozen. But it'll look better if there's light in that room. Power's still really, really good. I'm wondering if a little wall here. Plus, I think this is mostly took shots from the turrets. I'm actually, I'm very much thinking it would be a very good idea. Let's use some limestone, since that's mostly still what we're producing the most of. I'm going to put a limestone wall here to protect this from being shot by the turret. Uh, and maybe extend it out by, like, one corner here. Just, just the one. Let's stop. Maybe some, a, a little bit, a little bit of crossfire. Alright, building, repairing will still be a thing we're waiting for. You're working on what, a component here? Yeah, advanced component. We did change the order of these, yeah. So now it doesn't start on the advanced components unless it literally doesn't have the means to produce anything else. Which may or may not be better, I don't know. The fact that there's not really much in the way of construction that uses advanced components probably means that this is a better way to arrange it. I probably could have done that a little sooner. I mean, it doesn't affect the overall throughput. But that way, it just front loads the armor slightly more, so we get access to the armor slightly earlier than we normally would. Okay, some people did drop their weapons. So before we get another situation, like last time, you go ahead and equip that. And Gleb, you will equip this one over here, please. And everyone may be armed now. We have the extra assault rifle because we are using some light machine guns, which is fine. Okay. You know what? This might be a fine place to put in a cut. We've we've resolved a couple of negative situations, or we um, powered through some that happened over here. We had the the psychic drone was pretty brutal. That was a lot of scythers. Make me wonder if I should start putting up some traps again. We actually have so much metal. Maybe I should start putting down metal traps again. Like it feels like a little bit of a waste, but I mean we've got seventy five hundred. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Steel traps are starting to be a thing again. Where are you? Steel, right there. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, it's only 45 per. They used to be 75, but now I guess now they get consumed. So um, maybe we'll do that and that as well. That should actually catch people a fair bit. And you know, we're going to go back to having traps in front of our doors like this. Because they definitely paid off in the past. I think I'm happy to do all this. We'll do one of those. We'll do these over here too. Oops, that is the wrong position. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm pleased to have those back. And yeah, we do have ludicrous amounts of steel. I don't know. It might have saved us, you know, because it could have killed... Well, let's say it takes two of these to hit kill a scyther. Sometimes it's going to be one. Sometimes it might take three. But let's say it takes two to kill a scyther. So um, we may have killed, well, depending on how many trigger, but at least looking at these, we may have killed three extra. And that might have actually made the difference. The, the issue is it would be nice if it, um, if we could toggle them on. Like we let one through and they kill the second one. Let the, the third one through, and then kill the fourth one, and so on, to, to stagger them. Because what's going to happen is just mostly killing, like, the first batch that come through, um, and doesn't solve the problem of things being clustered. And we got a Psychic Soothe. That's going to be nice. Oh, anyway, yeah. I think I think that's going to be very good. So we'll put a little cut in here. And once the bed is up, we should be a Oh, we need some drapes in here as well. Um, let me go and put that down. A four, I forget. Wooden cloth, that's going to be okay. I'm going to want, like, I know we only need one. But I'm going to do something like that next to the door, because I think that'll look nice. But yeah, once we get the bed and one of the drapes up, we should be able to progress on our end game quest. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.